Well hey there everybody, welcome back to the school campus series. As you see, this will be part 9 of the high school. I hope that you all are enjoying this so far, and if you are, please drop a like. Now let's go ahead and get this started. Well hey there again everyone and welcome back to the school campus series. As you see this will be part 9 of the school campus series. So let's go ahead and come right over here on this high school. Right here on the back side. Alright so when you get to right here. This is what we're going to do starting off in the, this video here. The docking area or the loading delivery area. Right here. Now this is not meant to be for 18 wheelers. So keep that in mind. This is for like little bread trucks and box trucks. Right here. So this is where we're going to first start off at. So right here we're going to have two delivery doors. And both of them are going to be the exact same. I'm going to show you how to do one. And then you just copy over to the other. So what we're going to do. We're going to grab the light gray wool. And right in here you should have this marked out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And then you should have this 7 here with this 3 brick in between. Okay, now once you have that, then grab a wall of choice. I'm going to use the end stone brick wall. I really like this texture and this texture pack for that idea. Now, this is going to be 5 blocks tall. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You're just going to simply take this on across like this. This will come up. And this here will be filled in with that wall. Now I want to ask you all, what do you think about the series? I know it's taken a while to build and I told you guys it would. Alright, now, once you have that, then you're going to go ahead and take this brick block. And it's going to come right up and up and over this here alright now once you have that then you're gonna go ahead and copy the same design right here alright now once you have this then grab your iron trap doors or a white trap door whatever trap door you guys been using throughout the build or half slab if you aren't using this this is gonna come right up on top of here like this no need to overhang because these are close together and yeah that won't look right so just go like this right here right up and over these All right, now what we're gonna do is come right down here and look at this right here real quick now if yours is like mine or this here is up one block higher than the grass level so grass level will be right here and this is up on this level right there so if yours is like that then what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and take out one two three four five of these and then we're gonna come out this way one two three four five this way now if yours is flat you're still gonna come out with your slabs now this will come straight on up like this right here and then from there, just go ahead and take this stone, and this here will be filled in right here. Again, if yours is flat, just go ahead and extend this. It'll be the same. Now what we're going to do here, we're going to come in a block from here. Right here, we're going to go ahead and put a door. So, like I always do, I take that out, grab a light gray wool, put it in right there. And then I'm going to put in an iron door right there. Alright, now once you have that, then this will come up level with this here. And this will come on across like this. Now, we might put some windows in here. Most likely we will put some small windows in here. But for now, just go ahead and fill this in. And we'll come back later on and we'll do all that later on. But like I said, just for now, just go ahead and fill this in like this. Also, with the grass in here, 
wait on that because I'm going to have to show you guys how to uh, terraform all this if you have a double layer like I do here. So that'll be easy to do later on. Okay, so once you have this extended out to here, then you're just going to simply take this on across with this layout that we already have. All this will be the same height as this. So all this, you're going to come up all this around up to here. You're going to have the same height as this. All right now again this is what you should have this wall the same height all the way across just like this simple enough now what we're going to do we're going to grab the white concrete we're going to go right on top of this wall it'll go all the way down again right on top of what we have here now we're not going to overhang the white concrete but we will take a upside down stair and overhang it so this will come right on top of there like that. And then again, the smooth quartz stairs upside down. I hate when that happens. Anyway, this will come upside down just like this if they cooperate with me. Just like that. And when you get here, curve them around just like this. And this will end up going just like this, back and forth, the curve, everything around. Make sure you guys have your stirs just like this here. And then your stairs will end up going just like this here. All right, now once you have that, then you're going to grab your iron bars. And your iron bars will come right here on top of this. And they will go all the way down, right on top of that white concrete. And you're just going to simply come right around here. Just like this. Simple enough. And then they'll end up right there, just like that. All right, now... What we're going to do, we're going to make a little patio up here. So you guys choose a block that you want your patio to be. I'm going to use the polished door right. It's this, this is what it looks like here. So again, choose something that you guys think is going to look good. I think this right here is going to look good for this texture. It's going to be on this level here. All this here is going to be filled in on that level with that block. Or whatever block you're going to use. Now right here, before you get too far filling this in, you're going to follow the layout at the bottom here. So let's go ahead and take this white concrete. Let's come on up to about yay high there. And we'll get the numbers in just a little bit. But just come up about right there. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take this on up right here. And... What we're going to do is take the brick right here, come on across, just like that. And the brick will be in right here for your wall. Now because this here is going to be on this level, there's no really need to fill in the bottom there. So this here will continue having an overhang like that. And then you're going to simply take this brick, come straight up against right here. I almost had it perfect. Okay, so the white will again continue have an overhang like this. Then you'll wrap it around this way. All right, now right down here, you see where we have these red markers for the windows now the windows will be up where the balcony is okay so leave these markers here this here will come straight on up and then your brick will come right here now again the windows will be up way up here not down there 
Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and come up with the white right here. And then this brick will come right here. Just like that. And once you have that, then you're going to take this brick. On up. Level with that, just like that. And then this here will come on up as well. Just like this. Alright, now once you have this right here, then let's go ahead and come right over here. Let's continue this overhang with the white concrete. Wrap it around this way. And it'll come around this way just like that. Alright, now once you have that, looking at this here, I'm going to go ahead and take this down like this. I'm going to take this smooth quartz stair. And I'm going to actually turn it around this way like that and then I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna extend this white and then extend that I think that looks a little bit better there alright now once you have that then again your patio will be on this level right here so continue along with this Your wall will be right here. Actually, come out from here. This will be where your wall is. Yeah, there we go. So your wall will be on this level. Right here, just like this. And then, again, your patio will be right in here. Alright, now once you have it filled in, it should look just like this right here. Also with your wall and everything else. So, we're going to go ahead and put some windows and some doors in here. So, first off, you're going to come over here to this side. And as you see, I marked it out right here. You're going to have two blocks of brick on this side and two blocks of brick on this side. Okay? You're going to cut out this 2x2 two two right here. Give me a block from there. Now, you're going to take out these two blocks here. You're going to take your patio block here. And then, you're going to take your smooth quartz stairs upside down like this. Then from there, you're just going to simply put your glass in there like that. No need for a trap door over because we have this overhang there. Okay, now right here will be a doorway. So it'll be three blocks of brick here. And then you're going to cut out this two by two there. Alright, now once you have that, then you're going to go ahead and take your light gray wool. Put it in here. And take your door choice and put in there just like that all right now once you have that then let's do this window here from here from this doorway you're gonna have three blocks of that brick and then you're gonna cut out this two by two here now this window here will be the same as this one so again you're going to take out this patio block there Upside down stair there, and then with your glass. Now if you've done that correctly, you should have three blocks of brick on the right side as well. Alright, now once you have this, then right over here on this side, we'll get to this part in just a second. Let's come right over here. So you see we have this brick pillar here. So we have 
three blocks of brick here and then you're gonna cut out a two by three right in here like this all right again three blocks of brick on this side and then you'll have three on this side as well now once you have that then you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing so this here will be in there and then you'll take this on across like this and then with your glass in here all right now once you have that window then let's go ahead and do another door right here so looking at it this way you're gonna have two blocks of brick here and then you're gonna take out this two by two here all right and then you're gonna go ahead and put your light gray wool here and then with your doors here all right now once you have that then we need to see where the windows are going to be for here so go on the back side of here and as you see I went ahead and marked these out with these blocks here now these blocks will be directly above these red blocks from earlier remember when I said to mark out these red blocks well that's what these three windows are here they're going to be looking at like this as you see they're right up above it like that so if I take this one up as you see it's perfectly in line all right now, I can't explain any simpler than that so from this corner here you should have one two three four five of that brick and then you gotta cut out that for that window all right and then you gotta have your stairs up under so this patio block will be like that and then here you're gonna have one two three four five six and then you're gonna do the same thing carry this like that and then another window so again one two three four five six all right and then again with your patio block up under now if you've done it correctly you should have two blocks here two blocks here in your doorway all right now on this side here you're gonna just simply do what we've been doing all right now once you have your windows and doors in here as you see I have black markers in here this is where some tables and chairs are going to be at so let's start out on this side here and we're gonna do some counting that way you know where to place all your tables at so right here you're gonna have two blocks from that wall and from the rail here one two three and then if you've done it right you'll have one two three four from there you're gonna have this two by two here now all these tables and chairs are going to be the same so before I show you the table design which is very simple let's figure out where all the other tables are gonna be so they're gonna be five blocks apart one two three four five okay five blocks apart so this one here is five blocks apart so this block here this one that's closest to that wall if you carry it on across this way you'll get to this block you see this this third table is going to be inwards a block so this one is going to be aligned with this one here okay now looking at it this way again five blocks apart from here to here and this block is going to be in line with this block here okay just like that now again from here to here five blocks all these five blocks apart looking out down at it like this this is how many tables you're going to have on this side and on this side now what we're gonna do once you have these marked out 
Obviously, these black markers will not stay in here. You're going to have oak fence. And then your choice of trapdoor on top. And then your choice of stairs for some chairs in here. So go ahead and do the same thing on all these markers. Just like this right here. Very nice. Now again, all the tables and chairs will be the same on those markers. And again, the patio will be just like that up under. So you get rid of those black markers that we used. Now once you have all those in there, then go ahead and put in your recycling bin and trash can here. And also... You're going to have two of them right over here as well. Now right down here we're going to have some more windows. So let's go ahead and count from this door here. So we're going to have one, two, three, four. And then we're going to have a two by two here. Now this two by two will be two blocks from that. Two blocks from the top. Just like that there. Now... This window is going to be just a 2x2. Two two. So let's go ahead and grab this stair, this glass. And we're simply going to do what we've been doing. So stair like this. Glass in here. Again, two blocks from the top. Alright, now, if you've done that right, you should have one, two, three, four blocks from here. Okay. And once you've got that, then now let's come ahead, go ahead and come right over here. So right off this corner, you're going to have one, two, three, four. And then you're going to have this two by two here. So you have a window there. And then you're going to have another one, two, three, four. And then another window right here. Alright, then you're going to have a window right here, again, two blocks from the top, let's count from this here, so you got this first indention here, which is this three, you have the second one, which is this two, now right here where you have this one, you're going to cut out one, two, Two blocks, let's see, yeah, two blocks just like that, okay, so pretty much these two singles here. Now in here we're going to put the full blocks of glass right in here, and then up under, it'll look a little wonky if we put the stairs in like this, so we're just going to simply just do this and call it done. Well, Alright, now let's go ahead and connect a wall up and put some more windows in. So the wall will be right here. And again, I have the red blocks which will be where the windows are going to be at. So this wall will be right here on off this corner in line with this. So looking at it like this right here, it will be in line with this block here. All this in line right here. Now let's go ahead and do some counting. So right off of here we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then you're going to have 3 red. Again, this is going to be marked out where the window is going to be. So 3 red right here. And then you're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 3 more red. And then you're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then a white concrete. So you should have this. Two windows there. Okay now once you've got that. Then. You're going to have. A brick block back here. And then here you're going to have. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Okay now once you've got that. Then you have another window, so three red. And then you're going to have 
one, two, three, four, five, six, and then another window, and then again, one, two, three, four, five, six, another window, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and guess what? Another window. After that, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, and it should meet up right there on that wall. Now, once you have this, then you're simply going to take this here straight on across to here. This is going to come up. And then this white concrete will come on up. And then you're going to take this brick, come right on up, over this way, this white concrete will come on up, and then this will be just like that. Alright, now once you have this, then simply take this white concrete, we're going to continue this overhang, so simple enough. This will come right on top, right on across, come up over this way, and right down here, and wrap around this way. Alright, now once you have this, then now let's go ahead and put the windows in here. Now remember, your windows, you're going to have one block of brick above your window so if take these out here again one block of brick right there all these are going to be in line with each other like what we've been doing so saying that if we come right here where this glass is going to be where we have this red if you come right above it if you need to come up like this that way you can put your glass in here like this here all right now these windows will be the same size as these a two by three you're gonna also do overhang with the trap doors and put the stairs right up under like this right here now as you see all this filled in again all your windows in line with each other all the way down just like this also I went ahead and put a Drainage system right here, the same one as what we've been doing. It'll come down just like this. Now let's go ahead and see from this window, it's one, two, three, four, five, and number six is this wall. You should have one block from here from that hopper at the bottom. That's where I got that one placed. And then I have one more down here on this corner so right here where this wraps around looking at it this way I have two blocks and then I have this stair right there so one block from this wall and this white concrete looks like this here going down I cut this white out here and then went on down just like this all right, now let's go ahead and fill in this roof. We're not going to use half slabs, don't worry, because I do know you can't place those very fast. Not like you used to anyway. So I'm going to use black wool, the same as what I used on my elementary school right over there across the way. So the roof will be on this level here. So looking at it like this right above the windows. And it'll be on this level. So all this here, just go ahead and fill in with this black wool now when you get up here on this you're going to place the black carpet right on top of here just like this well, alright now once you have it filled in it should look like this right here now remember later on we'll add some things up on the roof like always so once you have that then now let's go ahead and come right over here and do this wall here so as you see here this brick block will come right off of this here, this corner. 
simple enough right so that will come straight on across this way and this white concrete on this corner will come straight on up and this will meet right up against here just like this all right now once you've got that then you're gonna take this white concrete and overhang it like what we've been doing all the way down across and then it will also wrap around this way also that's what we've been doing so that's what we're going to continue to do there so what we're going to do now is take this and go ahead and continue this on across and this will also wrap around this way and then it should flow around like this so you see that all right now what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna go ahead and fill in this wall and put our windows in here so where we have these red markers here again we have four on the bottom we're gonna have also have four up here in this section so all your windows will be in line with each other what I mean by that is real quick you see how these windows here these are one block remember what I showed you one block of brick from the top right well we're gonna continue doing that along this side so we have this one block of brick right here and you see this red marker if we was to take this red marker straight on up just like this and then we take the glass and we come down like this right here this is how you can make sure that your glass and all your windows are perfectly in line with the bottom so you're gonna continue with the stairs like that again this window would be in line with the bottom and you can go ahead and do the same thing all the way up and across for these windows well, right now this is what you should have now this is a three-story wall here as you see we have three floors so three rows of windows remember to keep everything in line so this top window is going to be in line with these top windows these windows right here on the balcony are going to be in line with these windows here so if we was to break through here like kool-aid man and we take this see where we have these stairs here if we take this block and come across this way you see it is in line with that so remember to keep all of your windows in line with each other because if not it'll throw it all off and it just won't look right okay so now when you got that then you're gonna do your bottom windows now I have one block of brick on these at the bottom All right now once you get to right here where this little wall is you're simply gonna go ahead and take this brick right here on across and square this up just like that and then you're gonna take this white concrete on across to here and then again this will overlap overhang just like that there now you're gonna do the same thing with these windows here so you're gonna put a window at the bottom here for the first floor and you're gonna do this window here in the middle and then you're gonna do the top window right here remember to keep them all in line with each other well, alright now once again this is what you should have very simple not much to it now once you have that then you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing right over here you're gonna have three rows of windows right here where you have these marked out at now right here you're gonna have two iron doors right there 
and then go ahead and put in your windows in here right now you should have this right here once again all the windows should be in line with each other very simple enough and also as you see I carried this white concrete on across also up top as well now once you have that then you're gonna come to right here where you have this white concrete now this white concrete here will come straight on up when you get level to this right here you're gonna add three more blocks one two three now once you've got that then you're gonna come to this corner here it'll be the same height so that there will be filled in with the white no windows or anything just fill that in this right here will also come up well alright now this is what you should have right here now once you've got that as you see how what we've been doing with this white here is this gonna stop right here we're not gonna carry it on across here it's gonna stop right there also this one as well is gonna stop right there right up against that now once you have that you're gonna come right over here to this other side and this is gonna also be the same thing you're gonna carry this on up the same height as that one well, alright now once you have both of those like this then now come right over here to this white concrete now this pillar and this pillar here both of these will be brought up the same height as these well, alright now once you have both these pillars just like this here then now let's go ahead and do this wall right here now this wall here will be the same as this wall right here you're gonna do the same thing with the windows they're gonna be three rows tall so three floors you're gonna go ahead and carry this white concrete across this middle window and also have this white concrete across the top make sure again that everything is in line with each other well, all right now this is what you should have again very simple now you see this here will come on across again this is going to be one block above this window here the same level is right down there what we've been doing now once you have all that then now let's grab this white concrete and let's come up bring this out like this here we're gonna do the same thing on this one as well so come out here come on up All right, now what we're gonna do we're gonna come right here this is gonna be a big window pretty much so what we're gonna do starting off we're gonna take this light gray wool this light gray wool will be up under all these windows up under this entrance as well it's what we already got this would come out to here all right now once you've got that then go ahead and take these red markers out you should have these white ones in here so go ahead and take these red ones out all right now once you've got that then come right here grab your doors of choice again I'm using the spruce doors because they're glass in this texture pack now again if you don't have these nice glass doors and you want to use something else and use glass panes now once you have that then come up with your glass full blocks in the middle come up up and over the door just like this all right now once you've got that then you're gonna take this white concrete up and over all this connect this up all right now you're gonna go ahead and take this on this level come on across to here just like that and then take this on up right here 
You're going to do the same thing on this side as well. So this will come on across. Just like this. And then you're going to take your smooth quartz stairs. And they will come right in here upside down. That's the purpose we have this light gray wool up under there. So this here will come on across like this. Alright, now once you have that, then go ahead and grab your glass panes. And then you're going to put them inside of here. On this lower level. All the way across. Alright, now once you have that glass across the bottom, then now go ahead and take this pillar, this one, this one, and this one straight up. Let me show you how high. So come up. When you get level to this, so let's see, it's level to that like that. That's what you need to have. So go ahead and take the others up. Alright, now once you have this, then now let's go ahead and come right over here. And you see this one right here. You're going to go ahead and come right here and bring this across. Make sure that this is level with this. Okay? Now, once you have that leveled out and even, this will come on across all the way to the other side. Alright, now once you have this, then now come up here and you're going to do the same thing with this one. So you're going to level this up to here, like that, and this will also go all the way across. Alright, now once you've got that, then you're going to simply fill in this whole top, just like this. And this will go all the way across as well. Alright, now once that's filled in up top, then now let's go ahead and grab your smooth quartz stairs. And you're going to come right here and place upside down like this. And then you're going to place a door right wall here. And then a smooth quartz stair like this. That will help break up all this and give it a little bit more detail as well. So you're going to do this here all the way across. Alright, now once you have those four like this, then now go ahead and grab that door right wall and you're going to place them right here. Again, four. And then you're going to grab your lanterns. And these will also go right up under here. Again, four of these. Just like that. Now once you have that, then you're going to go ahead and grab your full block of black stained glass. And you're simply going to go ahead and fill in all this up with it. Alright, now once you've got that, then grab your smooth quartz slab. And you're going to take it right here on the very edge, right there. It'll be on this level, and you're going to take this all the way across to the very other side, right down here. Now, once you have it all the way across, then you're going to grab your purple stained glass panes, or whatever glass panes that you used on the front of the building, and you're going to go ahead and come right here to the middle point of these windows. You should have three blocks of window here and three blocks of window here. So again, the middle point right there. And you're just going to simply take this glass pane right on up to the very top. Alright, now once you have this here, then now let's go ahead and come right over here to this window here. That's what this is going to be, a big window as well. So what we're going to do right here... First off, get rid of this red. Right here 
we're gonna go ahead and replace this the light gray wool so come inwards just like that all right then you're gonna go ahead and put a white concrete there on the inside that way you can put your stair just like this all right now once you've got that then you're gonna go ahead and come inside here with your black stained glass panes and you're gonna have to take this on up on the back side here on this side as well that way that glass connects up to it all right now you're gonna have two rows or two layers of this glass panes like this then you're gonna have a white concrete across and then from there you're gonna grab your full blocks and they're gonna come inside of here fill this in now see this white concrete right here coming across well that white concrete is gonna go ahead and come right here on this block on across to here so when you fill this in let's go on the back side of it just like this and then up here where you got this white concrete it'll also go on the middle right there again even and then this will just be white inside of here all right now once you have this then now grab your smooth quartz stairs and they'll go right here upside down just like that all right now right here on this wall it's gonna be two stories just like that wall over there so to do that easily grab this white concrete that's right here and you're gonna place it right there okay now this right here will wrap around this white concrete on the corner so come up wrap this around just like this and then inside of here do what we've been doing put your windows inside of here and again this is going to be a two-story floor here All right now this right here is what you should have nothing different the same thing over again what we've been doing I also went ahead and put a drainage system right here on that corner and also another one right over here on the other side of this big window and this corner right here All right now right here what we're gonna do is make this pretty much the same thing as this right here so saying that grab this it'll come on down just like that this here go ahead and come up and then go ahead and fill this in and pretty much do the same thing over again is what we have right here All right now once again this is what you should have right here now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up the next video part 10 we should be finishing this high school up right here we're gonna have a big nice opening entrance for the bus pickup area right over here I hope that you all are enjoying this so far please drop a like and let me know what you think down below guys Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.